Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to create sidebar menu in Elementor. So let's just begin. All right. So the first thing that you would need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. We have to install Elementor header and footer builder. All right. So I have already installed and activated this. After this, what I need to do, I have to go inside the appearance and you can see the option of Elementor header and footer builder. So we have to click on this. And from here, we have to build our header. Okay, so let's click on add new. Skip this. So this will be sidebar menu. So this would be header. And I would basically like to put this on the entire website. But if you wanted to put on the specific pages, you can simply choose it from here. So let's go here with the entire website. All right. So now let's click on publish. Now we have to edit our sidebar menu. All right, so for creating the sidebar menu, I would click on the new container, click on the flex box. I would go here with the two column structure. And here first I have to do, I have to change the content width. So that would be full width. And one thing that we need to do, click here, we need to change the padding to zero. All right. And also I need to change the value of width here. So that would be 20% and this would be basically 80% all right and one more thing that we need to do we have to change the value of padding so this would be zero and same goes for the second column this would be zero all right so now let's just create our sidebar so as we know for the sidebar we will actually use the first column so let's just click here and I would like to put the image here and here I'm gonna go here with the logo all right and i would like to change the size of the logo this is looking fine and what we can do here i would go back here and here i'm going to add the menu so i'm going to write down nav and you can see the option of navigation menu so i have to add this all right so here in the layout i have to change the layout of the menu so that would be vertical and i would like to put this into center so if you wanted to do any more customization in it, you can simply do it from here. But right now I'm going to go with the default values. All right. So here I would like to change the text color here. So for that, I will go into the style and from here in the typography, we can also change the typography here, but I'm going to keep the default style. So let's change the text color. So this would be a kind of black color. I think that would look fine. Or we can go here with kind of grayish color. Okay, that will look perfect. And on the hover effect, that would be a complete black color. Okay, so this is looking fine. And now what we need to do, I would like to add one more thing. So that would be social icons. Okay, so let's drag this and put this here. All right. So in the social icons, if you wanted to change the social icon, you can simply do it from here. So if you want to add the new item, you will do it from here. If you want to delete the existing one, you can do it from here. Okay, so here I would like to change the shape so that would be round and I think this is looking fine. I would like to change the color here so that would be the custom color. So the primary color would be basically the transparent. Yes, that would be the transparent color. And then our secondary color would be a kind of grayish or yeah, this is looking fine. So now what I need to do, I have to change the height of our side bar menu. Since we want to cover the whole screen. So I would click here. I would go into the layout and I will change the height here. So first I need to change the unit to the VH. And here if I wanted to cover all the height of a screen, I will use 100 value. Okay. And then now what I need to do, I have to change the background color. All right, so let's just add some background color. So let's just go here with something lighter, maybe. So I'm going to go here. Okay, so I'm going to go here with a kind of yellowish color or maybe a blue color. Okay, so this is looking fine. All right, so after the color, I think I will need to change the transparency here, maybe a bit. Okay, so this is looking better. So now what I need to do, I have to change the spacing between them. So how can we do this? That is really easy. Let's just go to the layout and you can see that we can put this into like a space around. 
or uh, space similarly i would go here with the space around and here on the menu i would like to add the spacing okay so let's click here and space between i will change the value here okay so i think this is looking fine okay so and i would also like to increase the size of the logo here so that would be kind of maybe 50 okay so this is looking better so you can basically style it as you want it but i would like to keep it simple right now all right so now what i need to do i just have to click on our sidebar container and we have to go into the advanced settings okay so right now the position of the sidebar is not fixed at the single place or the sidebar is not as sticky so how can we do this we just have to change the value of the position here to the fixed and then it will work fine all right so now let's just update this okay so we have created our sidebar menu now we will also learn how can we use this okay on the pages whenever we design our pages okay all right so let me just delete this first so this is an extra container so let's just delete this this is not needed all right so let's just update this again and we have to go back to the dashboard all right so our side bar menu is created okay so now what we need to do we just have to click on the update again and if I just go into the pages, click on all pages, you'll be able to see only a single page right now, the home page, in which we don't have anything. So if I just click on the view, you will be able to see our sidebar only, nothing else. Okay, because I have deleted everything so that we can add something and we know that how can we use or how can we design the things with the sidebar. So let's just go here and we have to click on edit with Elementor. Alright, so now if I just directly add a container, so let's see if I just add the container here, you can see it will also be, you know, overriding the space of our sidebar. Okay, so that is why we have to adjust this. So the first thing that we will need to do, we basically need to add the two column structure. Okay, just like we did for the sidebar. So I'm going to go here with the two column structure. And in the first one, in the first column, okay, so first we have to change the content width that would be full width and here what i need to do we have to change the padding values and also the padding value of the column here so this would be zero and here in the layout okay so when we were creating the sidebar the first the size the width of the first column were basically 20 percent so i have to add the value accordingly and on the second one i have to add this to the 80 all right, so uh, here I would also like to change the padding. All right, so now this will work perfect. Okay, so now I can basically add anything here. So I would like to add the heading here. And this would be like one. Okay, so I'm just creating this uh, really simple, the dummy UI thing so that we can see that our sidebar is working perfectly and also its position is fixed. Okay, so let's just go here into the style. I would change the typography so this would be maybe 100 and it would be into the center and i would actually click on the container of it all right so here basically i would add the height here so first i would like to change the unit so that would be vh and i would write down 100 and now what i need to do i have to justify the content into the center okay so that is looking fine and i have to change the background color so that we can differentiate the different containers okay so let's just click here click on the color and this would be a kind of this color okay so this is looking fine all right so let's just duplicate this we're going to duplicate this and you will be able to see our second one we just have to change the value here all right to the two okay so i think i would like to change the color here so that we can differentiate so let's see we would like to change the color here maybe this one okay that's perfect so let's update this and we will simply click on preview changes and now you will be able to see our sidebar and on the right side we have our design that is pretty simple one right now but this is how you can simply customize your own things and in a similar way if you wanted to create the multiple pages you can simply copy this approach and it will do the job for you so this is how we can create the sidebar menu in Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.